This uh, model review is of a Italeri uh, 148 scale, the F7F uh, Tiger Cat, and uh, there's some nice box art. Shows you the uh, decals over here, and it's uh, 28 centimeters uh, long. Shows you some of the options for uh, decals and painting. And let's take a look inside. Yeah, it looks like we have some uh, good recess panel lines here on the uh, fuselage. We have some nice detail uh, on the inside of the cockpit as well as the wheel well. Unfortunately, it looks like we have an ejector pin there though. But overall, it's a nice piece. This is a Tallery, so it's usually a good quality kit. Same thing on the other side, good recess panel lines. Here are our decals. These are very nice decals. They're well printed. And then all the different options. So it looks like some of the parts have been taken out. These wings have been put together. And uh, these are very nicely made. As you can see, there's a fair level of detail here. And this is inside the uh, wheel well, inside the engine naso, but uh, all very nicely done. Recess panel lines uh, on both sides. Here the uh, engine naso has been put together already, but we have a lot of detail here on the inside of these. These are the engine cows. Looks like they'll need to be sanded out a little bit. They have some recessed panel lines as well. Looks like we have uh, parts taken off that sprue already. Some wheels. This does have some nice detail on it. And here's the other one. Looks like we have two bombs already put together. Looks like they need a little bit of sanding on the edges. Here's the other sprue, sprues. Here's our uh, canopy. Very nicely molded. Okay, here we have the um, firewall for the engine. This is a very nicely detailed uh, instrument panel. Some of the uh, wheel, the wheels. Uh, we saw the tires earlier. Here's our uh, landing gear. These are very well molded. The occasional mold line. Otherwise no flashing really these are very nicely molded engine uh, just need, need to add the fuel lines that's the only thing missing here's our cockpit and floor and then looks like a fuel tank central line fuel tank okay let's have a look at these other two there's a couple areas of looks like some flashing but on the whole this is a very well made model looks like originally it was uh, from the ERTL company here's our crankcase and our propellers looks like some storage drums or fuel drums and then these are the rockets. So look at the other side here. So these are the uh, stabilizers. And the other side, the other propeller. Looks like our pilot seat. Well, this is a 
Also a very well made model kit. Let's have a look at our instru uh, instructions. First of all we have a list of the uh, parts. And here's the other side. And here are our colors that you need. And I don't see the blue that they recommend uh, for the outside of the plane. Here's our cockpit, the instrument panel, going inside the fuselage, putting the uh, wings together as well as the um, stabilizer, drilling out those holes over there. Engines being put on, uh, landing gear, wheels, yeah, wheel well covers, engines, rockets, fuel tank, bombs, putting all the armament on, as well as the uh, engine, cowls, propellers, and cockpit. It looks like they use that underneath, probably because they don't have enough weight in the front, so you may need to add a weight, because that doesn't look nice. And here are the uh, painting instructions, as well as the decal placement. This is from the uh, Korean deployment in 1953. Here's one from California. And this is uh, sea blue, is the color they called it. Here's another one from California, from the Marines. And this is another one from the Naval Air Station, from 1946. And lastly, Naval Air Station in Washington, D.C., the Marines. And these are all painted sea blue. Here's one more from North Carolina. And it looks like it has a gloss orange uh, down here on the nose. And underneath the uh, engine cowls. Fairly detailed model, lots of extra little surface detail, and um, that'll be a good one.